think it's working now. I don't know. Everything was funky. Well, I'm listening to it in my headset, set, and it sounds like it was really fast and it was really slow. I don't know. Hopefully, everything's not as funky anymore <clears throat> as it was for a second there. Um, so anyway, back after a fantastic week of football again. Uh, we're going to do some more Madden. Maintain our position in the top 1% here. Something you got to do daily. It's a little bit of cleanup to stay up there. Uh, yeah, what a great week, you know, for the Chicago Bears. Defense woke up. Absolutely destroyed. Justin Fields uh, came in. He had pretty good. His receivers didn't, so what can you say? But <clears throat> W is a W. So uh, let's get to it. But first, if it's your first time here, don't forget to like and follow. Absolutely, we need your help. Uh, after the stream's over, if you're still watching, like and follow. And if you're on YouTube, like and subscribe. So let's get to it. Oh. This headset's all funky today. What the? Oh, that's the other guy breathing so heavily. I'm like, what the hell is going on? I can just hear fucking air in the background. EA Sports coverage of the National Football League is on the air. The atmosphere here electric. Oh my god, the it's video, awful. Home folks love their silver and black. So many they people just have their headsets on in the background in Madden. And are just blaring blaring music or breathing as heavy as I could into it. I put the potato chips down. Stop breathing so heavy in the mic. I love potato chips. But you don't got to eat them in your mic. And only able to get this to the 19, so probably should have opted for the touchback. I just don't trust. It's almost always a run to start. Almost always. He starts here with a pass, and he's passing up the whole time. Jesus, Darren Waller's fast. I don't think I've actually played anyone who used the Raiders once yet. Five yards on the game's first play, second down. So we can't trust that he's not going to just pass it the whole time now. Car. Ooh, Jalen Johnson. The pick six just like in real life. Whoop, whoop. Look, he wasn't ready for it. He thinks he can do these short little passes. Nah. And the defense could not have written a much better script than that first. Let's see if we can do three consecutive interceptions. Uh, just like what happened in real life to Joe Burrow. That was fantastic. And a great way for them to start. And now the offense, they've got to turn things around and figure this out because your backs are on the ground real quickly. Yeah, usually when you're starting the game getting the ball, 0 0 is the only score you're worried about. Now the second time you get it, you're already down the touchdown. And he'll just take a seat in the Let's see what he does this time. Ah. The offense for Las Vegas about set to begin the drive. Now Carr to try again after the pick six. Okay. So he's just going to throw it every time. No matter how much it looks like he's going to run, it's just another type of pass. That's all right. We got his number. 
says I like the design, but I think he may have waited a little too long to spot his man because if you're going to run that drag route, you've got to put it on him and let him turn up field. Instead, he waits until his receiver's too close to the sideline and they don't get the yards after the catch. Mm, okay. So he's doing kind of like a high-low thing. 12 yards there as they keep this drive rolling. It's another first down. So we'll have to do the same. To throw his car. No, oh, someone was supposed to be there. I think. Unless that came to the short side. That'll be marked as a 27 yard pickup. Car to throw again. Dang. I thought I might pick him up there if he made the wrong move. Because he had a couple guys deep, but I was, I was, I was lurking back there. Here's what I'm the read option play when we talk about responsibilities. We're talking about what the quarterback has to go through. How about the inside linebacker, though? His job on this play shadow the quarterback and hold him to a short gain. Did it to perfection. Car now on third and goal. Stop him! Oh, he's so fast. He's literally incredible. Waller feels better than Kelsey. Back nicely from that bad opening drive where he threw the interception. Drive number two leads him right down the field and into the end zone. So obviously his confidence was never lost, and that's a good thing to see. It's amazing he was on no one's radar. He was like a some guy they just invited to training camp. Gruden didn't even know who he was. Just started watching him make plays and practice, and he's like, who the hell is that guy? Just really fucking huge. Okay. Let's win this game of chess. And he'll rumble for about five, up close to the 40. They'd love to just strike back with a touchdown right here, and if it's a long play, so be it. But the main goal, get a couple of first downs, run some plays, run some clock, allow their defense to get a chance to catch their breath. That was awkward as hell, but it worked. After they just gave up a score. It's nice every now and then in this game to see people overthink it. Just hand it to the old reliable guy. Let him pick up the first down. First down. Here's the run with Montgomery. I should have cut a little more left. I would have maybe dodged that and got like a yard more. Coming up on second and seven. Typically, we think it's the strong safeties that are better tacklers, especially closer to the line of scrimmage amidst traffic. But in this case, see if we can draw them off sides. I'm trying to do something crazy, you know, something wild. These two teams all tied Quick answer, one. nah. On second down now, it's Montgomery, and this will be taken across you know, like two on that. and into Raider territory. Give him three on the run there. Now they're looking at a third and about five. Here's Fields. Open oh, man is connect the tight end. And he will have the Bears first down by about a yard as they find a way to convert there on third down and five. Draining this clock real well, real well. Convert on third. And now here's Goodwin with it on the jet sweep. Dang. I, uh, I notice he's got the same kind of formation he moves his guys around to every time. So let's just flip sides. He's having his safety come down every time. Right there. Right about that because if they're forced to try and go around defenders behind the line of scrimmage, sometimes you can give yardage. So he's not ready for me to go the other way. He's thinking I'm going to go one way and one way only. Five yards on the carry there, and it leaves him with third and about six yards to go. To throw his fields. Oh, come on. Oh, I went down for it. I'm just not going to trust him again. Not on this particular play, anyway. God bless America. I can't believe they broke through that so quickly. Yeah, 
Okay, we're gonna begin Reader bend don't break. To get this drive started. And that last drive, a long drive, but not just that. They had a great air attack going. Do they stick with that? I would think that they would, because if they were confident enough to do it on the last drive, starting backed up in their own territory, why would you change anything? They've got to be confident about what they're presenting. This is the uh, good old strategy so. of they really look close. stand back. And that was amazing because that drive letting them take short plays. No adjustments. But not giving up anything big. Throwing again on second down. So he's gonna keep doing shit like that. That's perfectly fine. Let him take his short little junk plays. He doesn't have the time. To throw its car. He'll let this go deep for Ruggs. What the I had a guy right there. Yards, and the Raiders have taken the lead. As a fan, is there anything prettier? Interesting. Any rugs isn't even good. I mean, I have one good game. Last week. This week. This last week. From the 10. And a nice return sets him up pretty good here right at the 30-yard line. We'll try to do the same thing to him that he just did to us. Their next drive. And last time out, went for it on fourth down, turned it over, gave him great field position, turned it to six points, so they've got to recover here, Charles. It's amazing what one Pass interference, maybe? Pass interference doesn't get called in this game nearly as much as it should. And how often it should is a lot. Didn't happen. Also showed confidence in the defense. They didn't pick up their end of the bargain. So now they've got to come back out and start over and rebuild that confidence. And it's incomplete. Took a shot. Kind of played out pretty perfectly where that was a hard pass to make. After back to back incompletions. Here's Fields. Flush to his right. Oh my god, of course. It's intercepted. Picked up by the linebacker Corey Littleton. Just a perfect pass to not my guy. All the way back down inside the 10-yard line. A young quarterback Charles rolling to his right. I know he's right-handed, but is that one that maybe a veteran sticks in his pocket? I think so, but you have to remember with young quarterbacks it may take a few years before they get all the stuff out of them that they did earlier in their career or even in their college days when they were used to being dominant. In this case, the NFL veteran defense ended up winning the battle. That's good for a gain of six, second and goal. Now the Bears going to call the hmm. first of their timeouts as he'll talk things over. Literally falling apart real fast. Second down play. Jacobs and he is in touchdown. His pass rush is just insane right now. It's getting through. And then when I'm flushed out, there's a guy waiting for me right on the outside. I can't get around. Weird. I don't know. A guy who's twice as fast as those guys on the outside. This is taken just shy of the 10. Now a crease here as he's past the 30. He's playing the safety in the back, making it kind of difficult to uh, for their next drive, get away with some of my plays. Trying to shake off the interception from the last drive. He'll Are you fucking kidding me? Nowhere to go here. He lost the football. Like, that's what I mean. There's just a uh, fucking some bitch out there already. Out the sides. Able to retain possession. That was big for them. On second and a long way to go. Fields. And some room to roam now. And they finally get him down at the other 46. Now the Bears going to use the second of their timeouts. As the stoppage will come with a little under a minute to go in this first half. On first and ten. Here's I think the key is just to run straight. Turns into a nice gain with a trying to go to the outside. Good coverage downfield led to him taking off, picking up the first down on a 13-yard run. 
Back to throw. Fields. He lets this one fly toward the back of the end zone. And that is incomplete. I'm looking at this one with my defensive eyeglasses on because you remember the old days when a tight end saw a linebacker covering him and thought he had a miss. I don't really have a lot of plays of this playbook I can use. Not necessarily so. They gave it a shot downfield. That one incomplete. Come on! Yes. Ooh, that was some crazy shit right there that that just happened. But a little bit closer now. Now here's what we can do. I'm starting to get this whole onside kick thing down. I've gotten real close a few times. We can try to do an onside kick here. If I can get it. Just want to do it far after the A. What the fuck? Y'all had your hands all over it. God damn it. Okay, I'm getting good at it. Just nobody's fucking getting them. <laughs> Leads you to that type of play calling, and whether you want to blitz or whether you want to throw the ball deep, those types of things. Now that they've given up that type of field position, the advantage is switched to their opponent. And this will be incomplete. Physical play on the football there, and it's second down. Now Carr, after the incomplete pass, brings him up second and ten. Carr now to throw. He finds his man complete. That's Jacobs. And he'll get it inside the 40 to the 39. Now the Raiders going to go ahead and use the second of their timeouts. As they'll stop it with 13 seconds to play in half number one. Carr looking to throw on third and two. He'll take a shot for the end zone. Toward the back corner of the end zone, but he can <clears throat> get the feet down. This will wind up incomplete. He certainly had a good game throwing the ball so far, but I think he was trying to take that from good. What does Henry Ruggs speak? That throw, trying to get one down. Field. He's literally breaking away from all my people when my people have 15, 20 yards of space before they have to start running. How is he running past people who have got that much of a head start? You know what I mean? Yet they're gonna go for it on four. They go with Jacobs. And he's able to get it to the 33. Good enough for a first down. And with just one second remaining in the first half, they'll call the timeout. And now we'll get a late timeout. I don't think this ice is good. In the waning moments of quarter number two. Okay, so I believe I start with the ball. Start getting some really good opponents. Played a couple games over the weekend. That's when I played on Sunday. It was a guy who had played uh, nearly 400 fucking games. Can you imagine? The wealth of knowledge and experience and like precision that guy must have. The Bears offense ready to go for their next drive. And right out of the gate they face what you think could be a pretty important drive. I would say so. You know they're down two scores. That is a goddamn joke. Every time I throw the ball. All three of my interceptions, all three of them have been, I'm getting hit and it perfectly goes to a defender. It's not going somewhere random. It's like this guy, right? Going to him. God, that's infuriating. There's nothing I can do about it. There's nothing you can do about those type of plays. No, I'm looking at him. It might be an early night for the top 1% here. Yeah, 
A gain of 10 as they look to add on to this 10-point lead. Back-to-back -back good plays have them on the move on first down. On play action, now Carr. They're trying to get it to Ruggs, but it's intercepted. Picked up by the former first rounder. He's not even getting hit when he throws these, like I do. The 15 to the 16-yard line. At the line, prepping for their next drive, the Bears' offense. And last time, one play interception, so this offense, they should be fresh. <laughs> That's a good way of putting it. God damn it, I couldn't. I was trying to run forward. I couldn't fit through up. Uh, the center as well. Try again after the sack. Fields. Because I can do that play all day. I can do this run for 10 yards each and every play until he decides to give me something else. Fields on first down. This one swung out to Montgomery. Whoa! I ain't never done that before. 11 more yards that go around. First down as well. Fields now to throw. Deep ball for Goodwin. Come on, what is with this draping pass and interference stuff? Oh, I thought I threw three interceptions. Only two? Okay. Put him out there and said, go deep. Let's try and hit him. Unfortunately, to no avail. Not even trying. He sees the ball coming and he just runs the opposite direction. What is this garbage? When you're trying to throw inside routes and you need to put some heat on it. Oh my god, and this 98 guy is in fucking sane. He literally is on my ass every play, and the guy's not even controlling him. Here we go on fourth down, fields. It's caught on the right side. God damn it. This is really frustrating. Show frustrating. And the Raiders with the football now in excellent field position. Frustrating. They go back to the air here after the INT on the last drive. He's gonna let this go. Back of the end zone. And that is caught. That guy is always open. How is he always open? I have three safeties. I'm going to finish this game if only I need to apparently practice. Like, I went from... I went from playing regular Joes the Bears offense ready to, go for their to playing drive. people who've dedicated their life to this game. A play fake now fields to throw. They'll roll him out right. He's going to let this go deep back over the middle. And that is <sighs> And the thing is like, okay. Down, but he reel it that in. was a perfect pass. My guy was wide open. From Southern Nevada. Second and 10. Off play action. Fields. He's gonna let it go again. And he's you know what? I can't. I can't keep playing this guy. I'm not making good choices, but he uh, has clearly just gotten me so far from the victory. I can't. My offense revolves around running the ball, and that guy. Uh, I don't know what defense he was using exactly. Whatever it was, damn near perfectly had me shut down no matter what I did. I need to figure out what that defense was. I should have paid attention to more to that. Raiders, that was the first time I could think of playing against the radar, Raiders. Radars. And uh, they're significantly better. Unless they're getting big boosts with each win here. Significantly better than I thought they'd be. They really don't have to uh, run the ball.
I mean, I was picking that guy off. I intercepted him almost as much as he got me. But, uh, didn't matter. Uncanny, what up? What's going on, my man? Thank you for the like. Oh, holy shit. Is my stream health terrible again? Huh. I'm in, but probably gonna fall asleep. Have a good night. Shift today. Uh, have night shift. 11.30. Fuck. That sounds terrible. What's going on, Kenny? How are you doing? Oh, God. My stream's coming up in Italian again. Everything's kind of going wonky on me again. The shit. The streaming stuff. Kenny, what did you think about that game yesterday? I was, I was quite happy. Defense did super good. Fields went in. He did pretty good. Doesn't look like it because his receivers kept dropping everything. But at the hospital, picking up my dad, waiting on him actually. Hospital. Did not see it. Oh man, you had to watch it. It was a good game. What's your dad? Uh, dad doing? Just an appointment. I was occupied with work all day. I don't like working any job that makes me work on Sundays. Saturdays, Sundays. I, I like uh, banker's hours. Someone told me that the other... Uh, it was like sometime in the last year. Something about banker's hours. Like, what the hell is banker's hours? Like you can kind of imagine. Monday through Friday, 8 to 5 kind of deal. Something in that range. Perfect. This is the perfect hours. Yeah, appointment. Ah, okay. Well, that's nice of you. That's some good sun stuff. Not the Chicago Bears. You mean the best team? The best team in the whole NFL? Chicago Bears? I'm from Chicago, but good lord. Yeah. I don't know what that means. What are you a fan of? You like, what, the Cowboys or something? You, uh, like a Tom Brady fan or something? What's, uh, what's the word here? Call yourself, sir. I'm calling it. Look at him. Look at what they did yesterday to the Bengals. Thoroughly stomped them. And it should have been, should have been a lot higher score. It was like a one in, I don't know, two million percent chance that uh, some of those touchdowns weren't touchdowns. Whoa, he stripped me? A user strip? I have never seen that. I have never. That was a first. In my, like, 110 games of Madden. That has never happened. On an all out blitz, he somehow gets me. I don't get it. So much for getting separation. No chance there. Locked down tight. On Kenny, are you gonna do some streaming when you get back home or? What the? My guy was beating him by a mile. Team is the Saints for now. What does that mean? You can't just switch teams. Saints. I don't know. They were fun to watch back in the day. Even when they're good, they're boring. I think. I liked early Drew Brees days. And then they just became the team that wins a lot but never goes anywhere. That's boring. I would rather 
be invested in like every year I'll switch to an underdog team. Like Bears are always the number one, right? But we get to the playoffs. I want those underdogs to win, not those people who are just super teams. That's lame. It's like uh, the Bucks in the NBA this year. They were the underdogs, and they came out and stomped everybody out with one super player who had been there since the beginning. He didn't go to some super team. People didn't come to him. That was good. That was fantastic. I like that kind of stuff. Dream teams, but not like, you know, the old Olympics dream team where it was just the best of the best. Boring. What do you mean they give away players to the highest bidder? What's that point? I like underdogs, but now it's to the specifics of players. I guess to some degree. Oh, give away, give away players to the highest bidder. What? I think like hockey did that with uh, expansion teams. I believe because there was what it was like a Seattle Kraken or something like that. As the new team came in, and then like. The MB, uh, uh, NHL teams can like reserve like five players or something, I think. And then everyone else on your team is free game for them to take. I thought that was bananas. I would hate that. I would hate that they could just take players. Time to bottle this guy up. Love to be with the teams that stick to their spot like the old days when we had killers, not teddy bears. I mean, the rules were just different back in the day. Back in the day, they didn't care about a player's health. The players didn't have rights really or anything. Kind of got what you got. Um, <clears throat> now the players got rights and they don't want to die. So rules are changed to protect them. But they are, in these days, uh, with how they figured out strength and conditioning and everything else, the people are way, way better athletes today than they ever were before. Way bigger, stronger, physical, faster. So, it's way more fun to watch, except for the fact that there is pansy penalties. But you do hate to see super cheap shots that result in injuries and then fun players go out. And then you lose, say, a good quarterback. Now the whole game just fucking sucks. Nothing fun about it after that. We exhaust the game with the Saints versus the Colts. It was a dope game. What game was that? Now after the touchdown, it's Zerline. He'll kick it away. When was that, I should say? Saints versus the Colts. I already have the ball, and I didn't score. What happened? It was just a fourth down failed. Prepping for their next drive, the Bears offense. And with just under a minute to go, they might try to think about mounting a drive here if they can and get in the end zone. Oh my god. 
That was nothing working. Okay. Okay. Just need a few plays like that. As the clock's gonna stop with 47 seconds to go in half number one. On first down, Fields. Deep ball for Goodwin. It's oh my God. Okay. Maybe that's what whiskey. Super Bowl 2010, 2009. I think. I remember right. The Super Bowl, the Saints won. Would have been like 2008 because um, it was Madden 09, I think. Maybe it was 10. I don't know. It wasn't one of those years. It was nine or eight. As the clock will stop with 35 seconds to go in quarter number two. I really don't remember. Maybe you're right. Somewhere in that time period. Um, because Drew Brees was on the cover right after. Me. Fields. Over the middle, and he's got good one complete. That was fun. That was a good Super Bowl. See, that's when I liked to watch the Saints is back then. Like I said, right after that, yeah, they always had good winning seasons, but they never went anywhere with it. So from inside the they became the Aints. Inside the red zone here, they'll look to throw. And he just well, I probably had someone open, but couldn't tap and twist it. To this point, I've been impressed with the work defensively. They have not allowed a lot of receivers to run free. Okay. And there's another example, another incompletion. So they'll come up after the incompletion for second down. To the air again, Fields. Oh, come on. I pass nothing. Nothing seems to work. Through an interception? So now you don't take any unnecessary risks, but you try and find a way to get back to what you were doing earlier. Also, the Saints back then, I don't remember if it was after or before. But weren't they being super cheap in putting bounties on players' heads? Like, didn't that dismantle their team for like two or three years? Like all their coaches got fired or banned. Bunch of players did too. Oh, come on. Not what I wanted to do. He was standing right there. He was standing there, open. And then I go to throw it to him where he's standing. And as I do, he starts jolting the other direction. Look, if I was the quarterback, I wouldn't have thrown it where he was running. Because I didn't know he was going to run there. He was standing perfectly still. Standing still, waving his arms. Throw it to me. Okay, now I'm going to run behind this guy quick. That doesn't happen. This fucking game sometimes. The AI are actually, actually stupid as hell. Set for this next drive by the Cowboys offense. And coming up on their second drive of the game, had the touchdown last time out. Now they have the football oh. back. Chance to really seize early momentum. Feels to me like they had a really excellent week of practice and it all came together. But I'll bet you it got galvanized in the locker room in pregame. Somehow I think the head coach, his oratorical skills were on point. Come on, what a safe catch. I need to do safe catches more. That's where I really fucked up. 
lot of stuff gets dropped because I'm always going for the big catch. I just don't get a lot of separation with my players. Prescott to throw it. Again, it's Cooper as he makes the catch. And that'll be good for eight yards to the 45. One thing you're hoping for when you run drag routes, you're able to hit a receiver in stride and he can pick up a lot of yardage after the catch. But in this situation, the defense was effective, able to stop him before he could get a good head of steam going. From the 45 on second down, Prescott. Ooh. And it's out. He put it on the carpet. And this is picked up by the Bears. There Ooh, making plays. He was going for the slide, too. All right, back in it, boys and girl. So they were down by a touchdown, probably just hoping the defense could hold them, maybe force the punt. Instead, they forced the Jeez. turnover and take it into the house. Well, the plan was perfect. That's exactly ah. what they wanted. Instead, the all clear drink. This is what everyone should drink right here. Big time capitalization by Delicious. taking the ball away and putting it in the end zone. I call this stream do. Pick up your uh, bottles today. So all square here in this third quarter as the kicks away. It's like drinking nothing. But while actually drinking nothing. On the return, Tony Pollard from his end zone. And it's a pretty good return here as he'll get this up to the 29. The Dallas offense here set to begin the drive. First and ten, Prescott. Got an open man. It's oh, Michael lucky, Dallas. lucky, ducky. And he gets this one just shy of the 40. They'll mark him down at the 39. It'll be a gain of 10 to start the drive out by a few inches. That'll be a first down. Out of the gun, it's Elliott. Runs over it. A good cover defensively as they get to him just. Must have been a hit stick to make him spin out like that. That was weird. Seven yards on the pick up there, and it'll lose this guy and never shift. They go to Elliott again, and he'll take it down shy of the 45 at the 46. That one, a first down pick up of eight. Now a give here to Pollard, and some space here. All right. So Pollard's incredible or what? Tony Pollard. Speed on that guy. And the Cowboys have taken the lead. And the fact that he could just instantly switch directions at full speed with no slowdown. How do you tackle that? You and I discussed it. They did a nice job on him in the first half, but there were a couple of occasions where it felt like he might wiggle out of traffic and take it to the house. Finally here in the second half. That got done. Now after the touchdown, it's Zerline. He'll kick it away. And it'll come out to the 25 as he will not attempt to return. Okay. Run the ball and drain this clock. Try to take it to overtime. So far... Defense has done all right, but it's the suspect. Bears offense ready to go for their next drive. And the interception thrown in the red zone last time. We'll see if they can rebound. I just have to think the last thing he said as they went back out there was, don't do that again. What do you think? So about that whole drain the clock thing. Think? Yeah, I think that. I think that not only did he say, you know, I guess I'm just going to score. David Montgomery, 75 yards. And the Bears are an extra point away from I have a safer this is a safer way to try to get the win. And we didn't even get a chance to settle in for that drive. Whoever that tight end was that was blocking two people at the back the is a Don't fucking legend. Study was behind this one that they saw something that they thought they could take advantage of. The key is calling it in the right situation, knowing when it exists to go to it. They did exactly that. They've got to feel really good about what they did in advance of this game. Just looking down at the sideline now, their defense is like, man, can you have strung that out just a few plays? Give us a break. Back out there. Hey, man, get that water break and get on out there and play. 
About set for this next drive by the Cowboys offense. And their lead has evaporated in this third quarter. It's tied once more as they begin with a first and ten. Here's a throw to his running back. It's complete. He'll be dropped after a gain of about six across the 30 to the 31. From the 31, Prescott looking left side, and he's got a man. That's Elliott. And he gets this up across the 35 before he's out of bounds. Well, they certainly had success throughout this contest, getting him the ball in the passing game, and there he picks up another first down. Whatever they saw going into this one, they've been able to capitalize on it, and no adjustment has been made to take it away. They'll go with Pollard here on first down. Fighting his way through contact. And he'll be taken down, but not before he gets into enemy territory. 63 yards rushing for him now in the ball game. Prescott looks to throw on first. Yes! Yes! Jalen Johnson, you fucking beast. So it'll be a change of possession on the turnover when we get back. That's the way to end the quarter. That's the way to end the quarter. Well the nickel. Well the dime. Well the fifty cent piece. At the line prepping for their next drive, the Bears offense. And the question, can they turn that interception into points? A tie game for the moment in the fourth quarter. And he's got this one across midfield in the Cowboy territory. And they give him four yards there. It'll be second and six. Again, they'll go ground. With oh, my God. Just a gain of a yard there, and now it'll be third. He perfectly knew where I was going to go. so important for the man in the middle because his ability to, to, to look through all the clutter that's happening in front of him diagnose a play and then go make it and finish it that's when the great ones know that they have the goods and he'll go out of bounds after taking it a little further down inside the 40 first time they've looked his way in this game he comes through picking up the first you got this from the gun it's a give to Montgomery Micah Parsons, the linebacker, in on the tackle. So where'd all that running room that he had in the first half go? Because it looks like it's drying up a little bit here. Someone made some adjustments. Have I not been chewing the clock this whole time? There should be so much more clock gone, I feel like. Now here's Goodwin with another jet sweep. And he's going to fight his way forward here for a modest game. Holy shenanigans. Let's just make this one succinct. Nice job there. All 11 guys on defense diagnosing the jet sweep and putting it down. On third down, they go Montgomery. And he won't be close to a first down as he runs into a wall right around the line of scrimmage. No gain there on the play, and that's going to leave him with a fourth down. Quiet that crowd. Now it's Fields. And left side here, it's Graham. And they'll work it inside the 15 yard line before it's all said and done. Look, he was on Jimmy Graham, and I just went, I went black. I have no idea what was happening. That was just my go-to guy. I threw the ball, and he was suddenly wide open. I was like, well, there goes the fucking game as soon as I pressed the button. I knew the mistake I made. And then for some reason, by some miracle of whatever, the guy decided, I'm not going to guard Jimmy Graham this time. They'll keep pounding here with Montgomery. And he'll be taken down here at about the 11. The Cowboys are going to use their second timeout now as he'll talk it over here before what will be an important third down. Out of the huddle now for play number nine on this drive. This is third down and eight. 
from the gun. Here's Fields. And a quick throw here. That's complete. And the Bears are going to have first and goal as they try to finish off this drive with six points. They're able to convert on third down, and that sets up a first and goal. I take every second off we can here now. Read option. Here's Montgomery. No! Yes. No, Montgomery, why? I didn't want to score. David Montgomery with his second touchdown of the night. And the Bears have broken the tie. And that score deserves our respect, deserves our excitement. But I'm looking at the clock and I'm thinking there's a long way to go in this one. Ideally, they would have liked to milk a little bit more time off now. Uh, I tried. To get the crew together and say, this is what we practiced the two-minute drill for, right? Yeah, you hope you've been in that situation before. And if you haven't, you just have the confidence. Hey, let's go down there and get this thing done. But boy, that's a big score right there to give them the advantage. The Dallas offense here set to begin the drive. They're down here in a one-score game. But the time, it's a factor, but it's not a huge factor right now, is it? It's really not because this amount of time gives them a That's game. Oh, a crusher there as it's intercepted. He's not that that wasn't hard fought. I'm getting significantly better people that are playing against me all of a sudden. And apparently, my competition to get back into the 1% is getting stiffer and stiffer. I think I'm also kind of falling into this thing where I'm just picking the same place. And I'm not getting a... Uh, I'm not staying with enough variety of plays I'm sticking to certain playbooks that have worked for me the best and that's making me um, predictable that's what's costing me I need more big play Place. Chicago. Just a short time is the same ago, guy? This crowd loud enough to shake the foundations of this nearly century old building. They are ready for football indeed in Chicago. Got his ass. As their guys get set to do battle with the Dallas Cowboys. These fucking. I got little gnats. Not a lot of them, just a couple. One or two. Fine. Every time I stream. Trying to get my streamer water. Coming with a real streamer. Greg Zerline now. He'll handle the honors to get us started. And off we you want to buy Gamer Boy Streamer field. Water? They'll elect to bring it out here from the end zone. And ultimately, um, he stopped right where he would have been. He had me. For details. There's a lot of run plays I don't really use much anymore. I kind of stick to this playbook, too. First carry now for David Montgomery. Damn. And he gets this up to the 34 out of bounds there. Give him nine on the carry that time. And they're I used to do this 26 duo a lot. Jesus Christ. Where's he a bionic legs? because you gave up the football how does your own defense feel now having to go out there and stop them when the momentum has clearly shifted in their favor from the 32 now here's first and 10 and this defense feeling the encouragement they stop him at the line of scrimmage on the first play of the afternoon no gain on the play. It'll be second down. Throwing. Prescott. And he's got Ezekiel Elliott. How come every time he goes for a juke, my people are instantly psyched the fuck out? The catch and run. Good for 18 and a first down. Again to Elliott. And he'll get about three just outside the 10 stopped at the 11. run got 
three. Now here's second and seven. Here's Prescott. He's going to flip one out here to his running back. A gain of four on the play, and they're going to have a third down. That's a good job there by the corner. We do talk about this a lot, that a lot of corners see their job as simply covering receivers. Tackling isn't everyone's thing. But in this case, he came up quickly and made a nice, short tackle. And he's able to pick up the first before he's brought down inside the five at the four. He'll buy some time right. Come on. You're my defense used to stick up for me a lot better. I'm still really pissed about that fumble. The ridiculous speed that Michael Parsons was able to come at me with it blows my balls off. Oh, that was real. They're out there. We'll see if they can pick those things back up. And this is going to be dropped. Oh my gracious. There was no one in his area code. Fuck you mean. Not hang on to it. Well, they Fuck you mean. Good win. How the hell are you dropping shit like that? that they take in this game. From the gun on third down. Fields. Eluding the pressure right. Deep ball for Goodwin. No. Thank God they all dropped it. That was. Like there was a perfect chance to throw that and I lost it. That would have been a big play. I just don't feel like <sighs> it would have worked no matter what I did. I'm getting to that like nothing seems to work stage. They snap it to Fields. Let's this one rip toward Graham. See, okay, Jimmy Graham, tons of space on his left. I throw it left, and in, instead it goes straight. It really pisses me off that that never works. I don't get why that doesn't work. I also don't get out a safety with a hundred times more speed. He's getting beat. I need someone to explain to me why I can't throw people open. Like when I throw the ball and I'm holding where I want the ball to go, why does it not go that way? I feel like that would significantly improve my game if I could understand how to throw the ball right instead of straight when it works a percentage of the time. That playbook works way better than I give it credit for. Usually there's a person who specifically sets in the range of where I'm going to go. And there's nothing I can do with one guy who's good at perfect timing pick people 
you can't do anything against him. Now after the touchdown, here's Santos to kick this one away. About set for this next drive by the Cowboys offense. Ooh, little bug right just now, they're saying, hey, let's keep this going. Two drives, two touchdowns. Yeah, can't ask for a better start than that, can you? I mean, this is the way you practice it. This is the way you rehearse it. But right now, the play calling, they're locked in really well. Prescott able to get oh, I can't believe I just blatantly missed him. He has the first as well. No one there to help out downfield, but no problem. Scrambling My tackling is so bad. A big hitter to start the drive has him up near midfield here for first and ten. Now Prescott. Flushed out right. His throw incomplete. Bear down, go fields. I'm right there with you, Aiden. Adam, sorry. How are you doing, buddy? I thought uh I thought Fields did super good in that game yesterday. Or two days ago. Losing track of time. Hey, thank you for the like. Cheers. I think he uh got let down by his receivers, but you know what can you do? From the shotgun, it's Prescott. Oh, son of a bitch. Over the middle complete. That's Schultz. Touchdown, Cowboys. Eddie Jackson's playing like it's the Rams. Two first half touchdown passes. No, um, I'm excited to see what Fields can do after a week of playing with the first string in practice. And them actually game planning for him. Because he kind of came in on a game where he wasn't really going to play much more than, I don't know, 10 downs maybe. So I think, uh, I think he's got a lot to give. Very, very, very excited to see this coming week. Against the Browns too. Browns are looking pretty good. To at least get on the board last time, but still work to do. No doubt about it. I wonder now if they're going to try to increase the urgency a little bit. Maybe pump but, uh, you know, Who knows? Let's see what they decide to do. there's a little good team. Drop following a pickup of seven past the 30 to the 32. To throw again on second down. Fields. And he takes a shot on the release. As this will and our off play. offensive line. It certainly didn't appear that that's where he wanted to go with the ball initially. They're looking so significantly better than I thought they were going to. Successfully. Fields on third down. He'll get this underneath to Montgomery. And he will have the Bears first down. And he was able to get it by plenty. A gain of eight on third and three. That one goes for eight yards. Fields on first down. And Graham on the ground. And he takes this one down almost all the way to the 30. Shit, you know who's doing really well that I want to see more of? Jalen Johnson. That dude's insane. Fields, escaping the pressure right. Well, that one drops down I should have got his jersey. I just got a Roquan Smith jersey, though. I got a Fields jersey a little bit ago, too. Or er, just showed up yesterday, I should say. Hey, thank you, William, for the uh, shapes. Cheers. I think the reason Nagy doesn't want him to play is he doesn't know how to use him. That could be. Again, Fields. The pressure Nagy's kind of a... I don't know. Like, I really liked Nagy in the beginning when he first came in. 2018, when everything was going really good. He looks so good. And then he's just been bad ever since. So, I've, I've lost all faith in Nagy. I would be perfectly happy with him leaving and somebody knows what they're doing coming in. Fuck, I tried to slide. Wouldn't let me. God damn it. That's the second uh, fumble Parsons is called. He caused. He got one on uh, Montgomery, too. Which is garbage. Montgomery never fumbles. Not in Madden, anyway. You know, I don't feel like you gotta do anything too crazy to use, uh... Ooh! Kwame, thank you for the like and the follow. Double cheers. I feel like, um... You don't have to do... 
Oh, and the follow. Yeah. Did I say follow? Did I say share? What did I say? Cheers again. Thank you, brother. Um. Yeah, you don't have to do like designed run plays or anything crazy. The guy can throw. Just do big plays. Big offensive plays. Do some designed rollouts because he can do that. He can throw on the run perfectly. I mean. God damn it. I just need two more seconds. Of course, nowhere near him. I don't think Van Der Esch can jump like that either. What's happening right now is I'm thoroughly destroying uh, feels his confidence in the game. Ooh, that's God Gaming. Thank you for the like, Chips. What's going on with you guys? Roquan, I'm a guy. Okay. So I gotta start this comeback somewhere. The only thing that seems to be working are these way deep out and out, or up and outs with uh, Goodwin. Kind of. I promise you those plays work really well against those coverages. Sometimes. It makes me wonder how people are doing some of these defenses that are just blanket, blanket coverages. Nothing you can do. Interestingly, that throw was probably worse than the one he threw the interception on last drive, but fell incomplete. No! Pfft, Montgomery, what are you doing? I did a playmaker. But I sent him straight out, and then he came in. So I assumed he was. G I had a couple seconds to make my decision. I assumed he was gonna do what I told him to do, because they usually do. And he just went in a wonky ass direction. God damn it! This dude is absolutely handing me my own ass. I've been coming across the best of the best in Madden lately. It is wild. Not that I'm playing particularly good today. And that one will bounce out of the back of the end zone, so we will start here at the 25. All right, I'm just going to slow it down, I guess. offense ready to go for their next drive. And we'll see how they want to play this. Just a little over I've been giving up on the run game pretty easily lately. They'll start out here with a jet sweep. And he'll be out of bounds across the 30-yard line. It's really sad because I cannot pass. Well, they did throw interceptions on their last two drives, so no surprise at all they decided to start it with a running play. I'm actually a little bit surprised, though, that they got as much out of it as they did. Yeah, decent little gain. Put some Montgomery's probably not the right down. player for this. From the 31, Fields caught by Montgomery. And he'll bring it up here to right at the 40-yard line. Now a timeout signaled for, and they'll get it with 10 seconds to go before halftime. When you struggle on offense, you're looking for anything possible to get Nag gets fired. Would you like to see a college coach come in or someone in the NFL? Um, you know, I've been seeing and paying attention to a lot of these analysts who are uh, doing the way too early uh, replacement picks. And I saw one said Bill's offensive coordinator. And I think if he can have another big year. Yeah, son of a bitch. Uh, he would be a really good pick. 
Um, but there was a couple college guys. I can't remember who they all were that were mentioned that uh, looked super good. But honestly, it would be hard for me to say right now. I think uh, there's a few good options out there that could do really, really well with fields, and I just don't think Nagy's one of them. I'm kind of impartial on Pace, too. Like, Ryan Pace, I liked him a lot when he first came in. He's had a lot of whiffs. He's had a lot of really good picks. I, he did get us fields. I have a hard time being mad about that. Um, you know, he got us Roquan Smith, David Montgomery, Jalen Johnson. The first half definitely went their way, and this would seem to be a great opportunity to kind of put this game a little closer out of reach with a score here. Yeah, and it's a wonderful opportunity for them because... He's gotten a lot of good people, but he's whiffed on so many big ones. Like, the Mitchell Trubinsky thing is a huge loss. He likes trading away draft capital. He likes signing players for way too much money. Um, the Khalil Mack trade looked at the time godly, but I don't know. He just hasn't been getting the kind of production we want. Yeah, sometimes you're relieved even if a flag comes out. But if you just get the hand up and you get it on the mask, you can kind of get away with it. Now that'll be tipped and intercepted. Picked up by the former first rounder, Artie Burns. So I don't know if I want to see him both gone. But Pace is living and dying by his picks and his hires. So, like, I don't know. When he got rehired or got this year yet, I kind of think he should have just gotten rid of Nagy like we all wanted. You've got to stay aggressive as well. So where's the line between being aggressive and attacking and, uh, and being overly aggressive? Figured out somebody better. Jesus Christ. Jimmy Graham, what are you doing on the ground? Um, but I don't know. I think they're package deal and they're going to go together. Fields now to throw. Escaping the pressure right. They'll find Goodwin here on the right side. And all the way inside the 15. Is there uh, any particular coach, Adam, that you'd like to see come to the Bears? Position after the big play. Inside the 15 now as they come up on first and 10. I feel like that's a fun topic that I would definitely like to know more about. And he slides to a halt inside. Maybe get on and play an online game. <laughs> it's fun. I don't know. I love doing it. If if you don't play like a knobhead like I have been this game, the Bears are super fun and one of the best teams to play. The defense can be really good. Um, if you running with Montgomery, uh, I don't know. You can do super good with the I form, I formation runs. Uh, he's just fantastic. There's only two playbooks in I form, and they both work extremely well. I'm going to have to go nickel. If you can do the slow game, this is the best way to do it. And I keep falling way behind early. So that's kind of where I'm falling apart here. But... If you can just run the ball, drain the clock, do some short passes when you need to, that's all you got to do to win. The Bears have a really good running game. They got a really good defense. Oh my gosh, I can't tackle either. I'm a terrible tackler, Adam. This guy and his jukes. Is that is that what his X uh, X ray X rated X factor? I was gonna figure it out eventually. Is that what his X factor is? Just infinite jukes. They'll try to throw now. Prescott, a dump off to Elliott, and he'll go out of bounds. 
Falcons inside the 15-yard line. 12 more yards there and another first down. I'm playing the Packers. I hope you beat this guy. My next box, S. Oh, nice. I, uh, I hope you beat him, too. Every time the Packers come up, I'm like, ooh, the pressure's on now. <laughs> you just know. You know there's no time for play in that game. They're a hard team to beat. I'm not going to lie. I think I was reading that Aaron Rodgers had the quickest release. So if you got someone who's really paying attention to the pass rush. Oh, come on, Johnson. I know that wasn't your guy, but. Oh, thank God. Oh. Is that something you can do? Yeah. You got to let me know, Adam, how that game goes. Don't let him win. Um, if he's passing a lot, go to Dime in the second playbook. There's three rushers, and then they have several plays that rush uh, a safety or a linebacker. And you can switch those guys to... Um, a spy and just run around the field with them or leave them to spy that works pretty well for me at the line prepping for their next drive the Bears offense they are right now just ice cold I mean they have struggled big time in this game ice cold no kidding he almost just picked me off with a defensive tackle Jesus Christ this guy's good Some people are just otherworldly at Madden. Sometimes your receivers just drop everything. Okay, Jimmy Graham. Did you see his route? Did you did you see his route? He had a drag route, you know, where you go straight left. Instead he goes out and then comes across. Jimmy Graham. Jimmy Graham is better than Komet in every way except for like one speed. I think it's literally a one speed difference. And he just plays like such a turd. Sometimes. I mean, both those tight ends. And Madden, anyway. Love dropping passes. I like to get the Clemson coach, but I don't see him leaving Clemson. But I like the OC from the Bills. Yeah, yeah. I totally agree with you on that one. That would be really cool if the Clemson coach left to come to play with Justin Fields. I mean, the idea of playing with Trevor Lawrence was enough to bring uh, Urban Meyer out of college. And retirement, I should say. Damn, I literally cannot. There's no play. I can even stop this guy. I shouldn't say that because I picked him off two or three times, but he still has so many points. He's just shutting me the fuck down. Um, man, who else? I literally just looked at a list. It was maybe like a week ago. After the week one game. And they lost the Rams so bad. It was, uh... Who do you want to replace Nagy right out the gates? Bunch of sports writers. The guy didn't want to play? What, he quit on you? 
Sometimes I have this. And that is going to be pulled in. Look at that. Darn now. Finally goes down at the 23 yard line. To throw his fields. Polluting the pressure right. God, drop city. My whole team's made of guys with stone hands. That's not true. They're usually pretty good. This particular game. Like certain um, games of Madden, tougher contested catches will get caught every time. And then this particular game's like this where it's just never. Out of the gun, Fields. Flush to his right. And he gets it inside the 10 to the 9. Give him 10 that time, escaping the danger, running with it, and picking up a first down. Here's Fields. Come on, Jimmy! Yes. Playing the football team, I'll keep you updated. Hell yeah. But they still trail big time. They'll take it, but he won't be able to smile about it. The Washington football team? That defense is incredible, even in Madden. Like, um... It wasn't Washington football team. They were pretty good. But it was the Cardinals. Cardinals defense. Man, I had... Um, someday last week, I don't remember what it was, I went 7-1 and one on the night. Seven games, wins, one loss. And my one loss came by one touchdown to a guy in the Cardinals. I was driving. I should have won. But his pass rush with three guys coming through because he had Chandler Jones and J.J. Watt. They just broke through every time. Instantly. Um, Set for this next drive by the Cowboys offense. They got in my face before I had a chance to throw it. I had to throw it away. Uh, they call the what an intentional grounding. So I lost 15 yards and a down. Next play, same thing happens. 15 yards and a first down. Next play, same thing. 15 yards and a first down. All of a sudden, it's fourth and 54. Fourth and 54. And, uh, yeah. that guy didn't want none either. Why are they quitting so quickly on you? Yeah, you know, once in a while I got that. And I don't know for sure. I can't say 100%. But I had one time that the game quit immediately. We never connected. The first play didn't happen or anything. And if I looked it up in my stats, I called it a loss. Like, what the hell do you mean a loss? So I don't know if it counted. I don't know if I maybe have a couple handful. It wouldn't be more than like two or three losses from other people quitting right away. Oh, that could have been nasty. Ooh. Hey, thank you for the notify. Hell yeah. Appreciate it, buddy. Cheers. Some clock and making sure you're taking care of the lead because you keep flinging it around. You throw a couple of picks, you can put yourself in jeopardy. Flushed out right. He finds his target. It's Schultz. Xbox One S. I had the One X, and then I got the Series X here. Oh fuck! And uh. I don't know about this Madden. I haven't played this Madden on last gen yet. But uh, last year's Madden. Damn, I thought I picked that. Last year's Madden, um, there was a huge difference between how the game ran on last gen and new gen. I'll find out this weekend. Got a buddy... He wanted to play me, and all he's got is a PS4. So, if you're watching, coming for you, Tyler. So, I'm going to find out how big the difference is. If I lose really bad, I use that as an excuse. No, not breaking 50 on me. That was a bad game. Alright. So here's what's happening to me. Alright. 
I gotta make my push back in that 1%. How good was that guy? Whoops. It was 5 and 3. He didn't play like he was a guy who was 5 and 3. I mean, it's almost double the wins. What I keep doing is I'm abandoning the run, like, super quickly. If I get behind by a touchdown. My strategy is... What's different from Xbox and Xbox uh, One X S? You pick before the game if you want to focus on inside run or outside run, short pass, etc. Then pick the D to focus on um, that they backed out in that. Oh, okay. The NFL is on I mean, I can do some of those things, but I'm doing them pretty quick. And I wonder sometimes I'm screwing up what I'm doing because I'm doing it too quick. You know what I mean? Pressing the buttons faster than they can come up. Because I'm trying to do a whole combination of things. Like press Y, inside, outside, sticks, above, underneath, on defense, move the line, move the linebackers. Do I move the secondary? Oh, coaching adjustments. Hey, do you have coaching adjustments? Because I think they took that away for part of... It was one of them last year. I'm going to restart my phone. Streaming keeps stopping on me. Okay. It might be... That might be on my end. I don't know why, but... The last two days that I've been streaming, it's been... Dude, funky. tried a little something i got a vpn and i wonder if that was screwing things up and following the touchdown now it's bradley pinion on to kick this one away and a short kick taking it about the 16. if they do those short kicks that you just saw there oh thank you william for the like um they do those short kicks like that they're trying to get a hit stick on you and so i just always press x to go for the dive instead of the dive they just kind of i don't know fetal position so you want to make sure you're doing that i don't know why but you see those people who do those high kicks short kicks or whatever they'll do it the whole game So they must figure whatever it is is going to work. After one seven nothing on EA Sports. website I was on was just an ad for a different VPN service. Didn't realize that. Here's the top result. The box with an extra defender in the secondary now on third down. Back to throw. Fields. He'll get that complete to his tight end Cole Komet. 
Those nice little drag routes, if you can get away with them with your uh, tight ends, they will run over at least the first guy. Most of the time. Because you're usually getting a cornerback on that outside. In this first playbook, you can switch to Goodwin being in the... Goodwin's super fast, by the way. You got to use him in a lot of situations. To show them how to get out of the pocket, how to get comfortable when they're doing so, and to make plays under that type of duress. That's an example of what we're seeing the colleges deliver to the NFL. Finding room to the 20. So you can do shit like that. <laughs> I, I love Goodwin. The fact that we got him on our team is a blessing. And I've only gotten one kick return ever, but make sure he's your kick returner. The chances of doing with Herbert are slightly less. It's not good chances either way. How's the Buffalo game going, Adam? Each team's had it. Each team has scored. 7-7 seven, seven here as the kick's away. Be honest, I'm looking at these the fixes. Set to begin their next possession. Good drive last time. And I literally have no clue what any of them are. Do you maybe mix it up now? Go to the ground game and surprise the defense a little bit. Use this program to do this, blah, blah, blah. I don't know what you're saying, man. They're doing so well throwing the ball. I wouldn't change it up until they showed me a reason to do so. I'll just try to focus on the game and. I'll have to see if I can figure out the uh, streams issues afterwards. One play has him up past the 40 already and another first and 10. Brady. He sets up the screen to Jones. Not much there, only a yard. As a defense, you're more balanced when you're in zone coverage because you're able to keep your eyes on the quarterback and see the play develop in front of you. They're able to keep the quick pass in front of them and stop it right at the line of scrimmage. Second and nine. Shotgun now for Brady. That'll be caught. It's the tight end, Howard. And he'll go down, but not before getting this inside huh. the 30. This time, Brady. That one covers 29 yards. First down. And that was good protection there. No, that was great protection there because it allowed him to lock in on his receiver. Although I think he was looking for his tight end on the corner route all the way. Nice connection there for a really nice gain. down carry by Jones he's trying to burn clock now on me Two minutes will send you to Orlando where Jonathan Coachman is standing by. He'll have highlights and analysis of this first half. And he'll get it down this time to the 17. Consecutive runs of six yards gives him a first and 10. 
So many teams want to throw the ball in this situation nowadays, but I love watching a team that has enough confidence to go ahead and run the football in that situation. This is not running here yet. Yeah. a tendency breaker. Or a dream clock. Maybe he's just manually draining the clock and being a McButt face. Now Leonard Fournette. He will push his way down to about the 14. Now the Bears going to call the first of their timeouts as they'll talk things over prior to this upcoming second down play. Second and seven with our score tied at seven, but they're planning to change that soon. Only question, will they get three or six out of it? And he'll get it here to the 10-yard line. Now the Bears going to use the second of their timeouts as they'll talk it over here before what will be an important third down. I think I'm back. Hold on. So they'll come up first in ten now from the thirty. Oh Jesus Christ! I just jumped up to two hundred megabits per second. So I figured it out. The problem has been sickeningly. The problem has been this whole time my VPN. My VPN has been a issue. It was for the longest time. I had a VPN and it, uh, I had full speed internet. It had some protection. It was fantastic. And now, last week or so, if I use it, it kills my internet. Two minutes remaining on EA Sports. So I want to research why it's killing my speed. He's trying to use my strategy and work the clock on me. I got what, 24 to 10? No! I'll tell you what. The Bills are insane. Those people, like, I don't know. If you use um, deep posts or flag routes or whatever it is, you know, the up and outs with uh, Stefan Diggs. He just cannot be stopped. That's what I've learned. You cannot stop that, man. You doing another one? Maybe you'll uh, 
get somebody who's not just picking the best teams in the game. All right, he scored. Big whoop. Well, uh, this just gives us time to drive back. Them draining the clock, that made that difficult. It was easier for him to take the game. I call this the old Bill Belichick. If you remember, I think it was the second time uh, the Patriots lost to the Giants in the Super Bowl. He had his defense literally throw the running back into the end zone. He tried to stop, and the linebackers carried him in, basically. Uh, that way he had time to get a chance to go back and even it up or score or whatever. Boom! It happens. He loved doing what the Cowboys was doing to you, running with the quarterback even though he quarterbacks by. Yeah, exactly. Exactly. I'm going to grill, then play one more. All righty. What are you grilling? Steak? Rats? Pork chops? Burgers? Oh, that could have been deadly. Try to do some crossers and things here. Back to throw. Oh, Allen Robinson. Too much contact to hold on What's to that one, and it's what trait? Picks whether or not they hold on to the ball because Allen Robinson is like one of the top two catching in the game. Steaks making sandwiches out of him. Ooh. Like good old steak sandwich. Uh oh. <sighs> okay. 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 That was a bad, bad toss into quadruple coverage. I just went for my best guy. I threw a high pass too. God damn it. I was just like, whatever happens, Allen Robinson. <laughs> I guess I should have gone underneath and got a little bit closer, but 12 seconds is not a lot of time. No, it doesn't matter what I pick. Shit. I'm not having a good day here, Adam. That's all right. Got to keep going. I'm just happy that I figured out what's been wrong on my stream this whole time. It happens. Bucks are crazy to play. I know. I hate. You can pretty much tell if the person's even slightly good using the Bucks, they're going to do really good. Uh, if they're terrible, you figure it out real quick because you can tear them apart. But for the most part, the computers on the Bucks will win you the game. I mean, in real life, in real life, they're insane. If Tom Brady's not in the first place with the MVP right now with, like, what did he get, four touchdowns week one, five the next week? The guy's insane. And I like how, I don't know if you noticed this, um, like, any sports analysts, TV shows, talk shows, anything like that, when they talk about Tom Brady for the longest time, like, a couple years ago, and whatnot, they were always saying about, ah, he's getting old, he's getting old, it's going to end eventually. And then he just keeps winning. Now, it doesn't matter how old he is. We've just accepted that Tom Brady's a god, no matter how old he is, and he will always be good. <laughs> so, I think it's funny that whole conversation just ended. Alright. So, this game... I'm not trying to figure out what's wrong with my frame rates anymore. I'm 100% focused. I'm going to be locked in. Justin Fields got 69%. <laughs> That's pretty funny. I did see Tom Brady got 100% on me. Look. 
I was only in half the time defensively. Otherwise, I wasn't mentally there. <laughs> All I kept seeing was my frame rates at like five frames per second when they should be at 60. Five, 15, 20. I didn't like it. I didn't like that you guys couldn't watch. So I had to fix it. So that took up a lot of my focus there. Cheers. To uh, to the Bears, to Justin Fields, to another win. I'm very excited for this week. I got Darnell Mooney and Fantasy. And uh, I noticed when Justin Fields goes in, he gets the ball to Darnell Mooney a lot. A lot of big passes down the side. Oh, shit. Nanigans. Cardinals are a tough team, too. They've got a couple things. They've got really fast receivers and really big receivers. So they've got, you know, perfect combination of those. Hopkins can catch anything. Rondale Moore is extremely fast. Kirk is fast. Um... So they got A.J. Green if he wants to use him. And then their D-line has two X-Factors standing right next to each other. I think I'm just going to leave safeties on him and rush with Mac. Try to flush him out. That's what I used to do a lot. For some reason, I kind of stopped that strategy. I like being able to pick the ball off. You know, if my guys aren't playing um, coverage that well, it gets irritating fast, and then you just want to go out and cover yourself. You can only cover one or maybe two guys if they cross. I know I spent a lot of time talking about how tight ends in a lot of cases now are pumped up wide receivers, but they're still big people. He used that frame right there to absorb a really big hit on him and held on to the ball. Line of scrimmage, the 37 on first and 10. And I feel like for really fast quarterbacks, Kyler Murray, um, Jackson, Fields, uh, Jalen Hurts. Edmonds running out of the shotgun. Those guys, you have to have like a safety spy or a cornerback because linebackers just aren't fast enough. D linemen definitely aren't fast enough. So the only one that I've had success with putting on a spy that's on the line is Khalil Mack. So if he starts running the ball a lot, like he is, I might switch to a four-man front. And make Khalil Mack go on the spy. Except for... For some reason, nickel and dime four-man fronts don't put Khalil Mack in the game. On play action, it's Murray. Out to his left. Brunched. Take that Robert Quinn guy out of here. He's more dangerous outside the pocket than he is in it. But how about the job they did defensively to stay with the receiver and knock the ball away? I think they had a sigh of relief there because oftentimes when he gets outside the pocket, big play. No way they're running this one. So I'm saying inside and at the sticks, so at the line. The first down line. I'm thinking just guard that. Come on. These jukes. The jukes, I feel like, start an animation where your guys automatically miss. And everyone's been juking. I was watching some videos when this Madden first came out, some strategy videos. I think it was a lot of YouTuber nonsense. <coughs> they were saying things like, oh, Use a, use a spin move. It's by far the best move in the game. Nobody uses the spin move. 
Yes, I mean, it's certainly something to watch out for. Everybody He's uses jukes. Call his own number on plays like that, and here he takes it for good yardage. And we know this defense prepared all week for this, but sometimes they can work really well. They can also fail. There's no one on the Bears. It goes right out the window. That's a particularly good juke move, guy. So from inside the 20, here's first and 10 at the 18. something you have to get ready for defensively because in today's NFL teams will use their wide receivers on jet sweeps end arounds they're moving back in the backfield to make them running backs partner this was much more of a tap pass but effective nonetheless and I think both guys love it if you're a quarterback it's an easy completion if you're a wide receiver you get the easy reception oh. all right first drive so he's doing a lot of short passes passes out quarterback runs Runs up the middle. Okay, okay. Got to dissect these plays better. Like off my groove. I love your last point. Ended up in the end zone because a lot of teams like those long drives, especially to keep their offense off the field, right? Keep the ball away from them. But they finished it with a touchdown. That's the exclamation point. Now flip it over defensively. They've got to slow that down somehow, right? Maybe they need to be a little more aggressive. Maybe a few more pressures towards the quarterback. Prater for the extra point, and that makes the score seven nothing. That's okay. Oh, he's a YouTube guy. He's got the old YT in his name. Um, so I'm gonna see how much time I can drain here. Prater to kick. Not giving the ball back at all. Then I'll start with the ball in the second half. And we'll see a return here from the end zone. And they'll get him down right around the 25, actually the 26 officially. So a net gain of one there. I found um, with Marquise Goodwin, if you just run straight, sometimes you need a little swivel, but not much because that will lose a new yards. It's just leading the defenders into blockers. But if you can run straight, it's your best chance to really get away. Oops, didn't mean to do that. Here's second and nine, just a yard on that last run. We'll do Power G this time. So Power G, if you haven't uh, used this play much, sends the tight end and, like, I think it's the right guard out, and they create an outside wall. So then between those two and your three guys right there, you kind of run through. It works sometimes really well. Sometimes you do have to jump to the outside. Running with the ball sucks because you got to be really reactive and you got to hope that one guy doesn't break through. Nine yards to go on second down from the 27. Probably like me, only using the Bears online. I tried the 49ers a few times, but Trey Lance in the team and a very quick team just before the game. Go death chart and hit Y to put all the best people in. Is Trey Lance considered better than uh, um, Jimmy Garoppolo? I, I'll do that. I'll press Y, and then I'll change it around. There's a few players I like to do uh, in different positions. Like, Goodwin needs to be my returner. I put Goodwin as my receiver, number one, and my slot receiver. Because his speed is going to get him open in a lot of situations. Um, Jimmy Graham. Jimmy Graham, what the hell are you doing? Jimmy Graham cannot track the ball at all. I'm, I'm getting tired of Jimmy Graham. If you look at his stats...
He can be my tight end. If you look at the stats, Jimmy Graham is better overall. Cole Komet has one speed more than him, a little bit more strength, less agility, a lot less agility. Acceleration's the same. Jimmy Graham's catching is way better. Hey, Nick Garza, what's going on? Thank you for the like, buddy. How are you doing? But apparently, he can't track the football at all because he was going on this route. And he's watching the ball come in, and he's running back this way. He's done that to me I don't know how many times recently. A lot. Ooh, Nick, thank you for the shares. Hold on, I'll choose you in a second. This guy's just not hiking the ball, so cheers, cheers. After the turnover, here's Murray. They'll roll him out right. Oh, Khalil Mack. I feel like every time Khalil Mack's going to hit, it's good, but. I think his overall is close, but Lance has like 87 speed, I believe. Oh, and Kittle's quick, yeah. And now he made it a very manageable second and short. Hell yeah. I, uh. Which means. There's some people that can do. Some teams that can do, um. A lot of moving around. There's a guy. It's like four or five mans ago. Who. Would pick the Oakland Raiders. Back when they were in Oakland. They were 72 overall. They were the worst team in the NFL, but they had extremely fast running backs, extremely fast receivers. He would move. I can't remember who the running back was. He had like two last names. And uh, he'd move him to receiver. And he was just unblockable. There's nothing you could do. This guy walked all over me with the worst team just because he knew how to use it and how to move speed around. Speed is the only thing that seems like it matters, unfortunately. McFadden, that sounds right. I don't know why I thought it was a two-name guy. McFadden's right. Can a lineman do a touchdown? Um, yes. Yes. Uh, if you do a fake field goal, a lineman will run out and can catch one. Big boys. Uh, otherwise, if there's a fumble and they pick one up, they can walk it in. It's super rare, Nick. Super rare. But if it happens, it's really funny. Oh, come on. What kind of hit stick is that, Smith? Um... So yeah, they had Darren McFadden out there and everything else, and it was it was wild, really hard to beat. But he kicked my ass. You must be a true football fan if you can remember Darren McFadden and <laughs> all that stuff. Because I believe Randy Moss was wide receiver and Jamarcus Russell was my quarterback. Maybe wrong. Oh, you might be right. That would explain a lot. Randy Moss was there. Fuck. I really thought he was going to try to quarterback run it again. Um, what about Roquan Smith, though? I think I said this earlier. I had to go out and buy a jersey for that guy because he's so good. I mean, you know. He's been with us forever, and I think he's going to be with us for a long time. If Ryan Pace is there to sign the contracts, he'll uh, keep Smith forever. He was a Raider before he got traded to the Pats for the 18th season. Oh. 18 in one season, yeah. He got traded, huh? Man. After the touchdown, out is Prater to kick. Uh, I guess I don't remember that far back that well. And that one I think I started the back of the end zone, so really watching football around 06 when the Bears went to the Super Bowl. That was a good year for me. <laughs> I thought he snagged that. 
Okay, we gotta try some tricky stuff here. Coaches, that's all they talk about turnovers, right? Minimizing those and maximizing opportunities. Steps away to his left. There we go, there we go. I'm just getting predictable with myself. I needed some stuff like that. Ooh, let's try it the other way. Let's do it the other way. I have plenty of time. If I keep just doing these short little dips and dives, I'll get down there. I've been watching football since 97 when I was 6 or 7. When the Broncos went back to back with LA, Elway beat the Packers and the Falcons in the Super Bowl. Ooh. Those must have been good years. I was, let me think. In 97, I was 5. So you're just a little bit older than me, huh? Damn. Um. I was watching football a lot when I was younger, but it was like the family would watch it, but they're all Packers fans. I'm from Wisconsin. They're all Packers fans. And uh, I just remember it was like Christmas Day or something. The Bears and the Packers are playing because it was some holiday that the family was all together. And everyone's cheering for the Packers. I'm like, oh, well, who's that team? They're like, well, that's the Packers. That's the team we like. I'm like, what about the other team? That's the Bears. We don't like them. I'm like, why don't we like them? Because they always lose. I'm like... Well, if that's the case, then I like them because I like the underdog. Now a first down throw, Fields. Born 91, 92, my man. Oh yeah. I uh. Yeah, yeah. That's awesome. So I was like, well, if you all like the Packers and the Bears always lose, then I want the Bears to win. Oh, son of a biscuit. They've made... For some reason, they made him really fumble-prone. I don't know if you've noticed, Justin Fields, but he fumbles a lot for me. And then I didn't really watch football much until 06. Then in high school, I started playing football. Then once I played it, I understood it better. Um, I did, what positions were they? Wing back? Third and two, and here's Murray. Wing back and cornerback. I wasn't very good, but I understood football a lot better. And my buddies were all huge Madden nuts. So we're always playing Madden. And that helped me learn the players. Oh, yes. Another chance. And then I've been in, uh, a big Madden guy since, I think it's the 2014 one. When it was, uh, who was that? Peyton Hillis. Peyton Hillis was on the cover. That was the first one I got, and I'm like, wait a minute, who the fuck is this guy? I think that was a pretty common thing. Who the hell is Peyton Hillis? And I got real good real fast. Thank God that worked. <laughs> I needed that so bad. And then probably like the last six or seven years, somewhere through college, I started, uh, doing fantasy. I don't know why I didn't do it before. I guess I needed someone to uh, introduce me. I didn't really know what it was much. Someone invited me at some point. 
Evans here. He's past the 30. Room to run at the 50. Wow, he Rondell moored me like that. I can't believe that just happened. He's in. Jesus. Cheers. I know a lot of special teams coaches, they just want to keep it away from him because that's what he can do. And others have egos. That dude is unreal how fast he is. Kick it to him. The way he runs as Look at him. He's just out running everybody. You can see a significant difference. I remember the last African American quarterback Bears had was Cordell Swert, like 2001, 2003. Yeah, yeah. Swert, sweat, was it? I don't really remember ever watching him because it's been so long. But I remember somebody saying it. Because the discussion came up when the Bears, for some reason, didn't draft the obvious Deshaun Watson, or I don't feel like it was as obvious at the time as it is now, hindsight's 2020, Patrick Mahomes, and got Mitchell Trubisky, a guy who played one season and did pretty good. Now, I don't think Trubisky was awful. I don't think he was a god, but like, to me, and again, hindsight's 2020, so like, you don't really want him right now, anyway. But Deshaun Watson was the obvious guy, right? I mean, he just went to the national title two years in a row and won it on his second time. So I couldn't fathom it. I was at work, and they had it on the TV at work. Jeez, this line, this D line is so hard to get against or run against. Oh. I just need to get a lead. Not a lead, but points. Costing myself something big. So they'll come up first and ten now from the thirty-three. They'll start by running the option to the right. Murray has the first down and more. Touchdown! Carter. Holy cannoli! It's a sensational run there by Kyler Murray. I hate the Cardinals. There's two teams. I mean, if you you've been watching me all night. It looks like I have a lot of trouble with a lot of teams. I am having a really off night. There's two teams in particularly, particular I have a very tough time with. It's the Cardinals and the Eagles. Running quarterbacks with a team around them, I can't do it. The Ravens, for some reason I can stop the Ravens pretty decently well. Cardinals and the Eagles? Eagles particularly. I've beaten the Eagles like one time. They crushed me. I don't know why. He just had bad coach, and I don't believe he was the next Manning or Brady, but yes, they should have got Watson at the time. I agree. I agree it was bad coaching. Um, a lot of people think Nagy didn't really like him, didn't give him a chance, didn't trust him. It wasn't Nagy's guy, you know? A lot of people got a lot of feelings about Nagy. I mean, to be fair, you know, what were we promised with Nagy? We were promised an offensive genius. You know, this next level guy. He was going to be the next greatest coach ever. Receiver didn't even try. Look at him, he's just standing there and he gets leapt on. I hate that. Uh, I hate that receiver giving up stuff. Fox was the one who drafted him, that's right. And I, Fox didn't want him either, if I remember right. I don't think Ryan Pace told him. He told nobody. He was trying to keep it secret. Like, uh, Fox wanted a defensive player. He wanted, like, Solomon Thomas or something. I remember hearing about Bob Knight years ago in basketball. 
Why are you guys just stopping? What is... I'm taking over these players and then trying to land the hit stick when they get on them. I don't know about the last gen, but on current gen, players don't run angles either. So if a guy's running like this and someone's coming like this, he runs flat as he gets away instead of the angle to cut him off. I don't know if I'm able to articulate that well or if it was off camera. Of course, I got him to fumble once and somebody else is there. Just shows Andy Reid was the mastermind in Kansas City, not Nagy. Exactly. He just made Nagy look good. I totally agree with you. I mean, Andy Reid has always been that guy. So it's like um, Belichick or Andy Reid. They all look good, so much so that everyone wants to hire their offense or their coordinators. Jesus Christ, I am doing so bad tonight. But every um, Belichick hire, every one of their coordinators is usually terrible. Bill O'Brien was a mess. Matt Patricia was a mess. And every time someone tries to hire their um, offensive coordinator, I can't remember his name, it's a mess. He was terrible the first time he head coached. And then uh, the Colts tried to hire him and he backed out. Andy Reid's had some decent ones. You know, he had Doug Peterson. And then Doug Peterson, Peterson got ran out of town. Who knows why? These are just becoming interceptions by default. I can't do it. I don't know where... It was unacceptable. No. <laughs> I don't know where I'm going so incredibly wrong. These people don't even... All these people I'm playing have like six games under their belt. Twelve games max. I am falling back on the leaderboards. I was getting so close to double my wins and losses too. Every loss is two wins I got to get back. This guy wasn't bad, but his wins to losses are so close. What has my night been like here? Kyle Shanahan. Oh, that's right. Yeah. Um, loss, 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 win, loss, loss, loss. So I've had two wins in the last ten games and eight losses, but before that it was win, 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 wins. It's Cardinals, Buccaneers, Cowboys, Raiders, Cards, Browns, Ravens, Bucks. I even lost to the Ravens last time I played them. I don't know what I'm doing differently. I got to get back into shape here, Adam. We got to get these Bears winning. The truth is, if I don't have to pass very often, I'm good. But if I go against teams with good D-lines, and that's... You know, it's not even the running quarterbacks. The Eagles' defensive line is extremely good, and so is the Cardinals. I can't run on them. Any team with a good defensive line, you've got to be fucking kidding me. i got to try some different runs. I'm, I'm sticking to one playbook, too. I called myself on that earlier. I'm still doing it. This is the game right here. The comeback starts, my man. Thank you. Do you have any, um... Do you have the same playbooks on your version of Madden? Uh, 
because if you do do you have any particular plays that you use that you know work I need to expand expand my playbook because there's a lot that I don't use or haven't tried first carry now for David Montgomery and he's upended at the 33 following a good pickup of eight I got um one of my good buddies who introduced me to Madden and everything way back in the day challenging me to play. He's a big 49ers fan. I told him about playing as the Bears and he says he's addicted to it. He can't stop playing as the Bears. Um, so I'm curious to see how he plays it differently. You know what I mean? It feels like everyone would likely play it a little differently. Same playbook, but win in the defense's column. They'll run it. Here's Montgomery. And he's got the first before he's brought down at the 39 yard line. Yeah, here's some interesting ones. Week. Week two, you got these strong stretch and the power O one. Those work pretty well. I got your version the next generation one. You can both play version. You can play both versions on next gen. Oh, perfect. Turn into an automatic passing no matter what the yard is. So yeah, do you do a lot of runs? Do you do a lot of passing? I need more um, passings that like always work. But I use New England's offensive play, but ah, okay. I think was it New England's defense? was supposed to be extremely good um, because they have like every playbook in it if I remember right they have 3-4-4-3 nickel dime they got everything oh come on at least that guy launched me for two yards I'm just going to try some random stuff here Owen Trap. Owen Trap is one I I haven't really used a lot of, but I know that used to work a lot in the last man. On second down, Montgomery. And he's going to be stopped up just short of the first down at the Cardinals 38. That was play number seven on this drive, and it got him seven yards. New England's offense. I think I tried to use that once before. Maybe not on this Madden. A strong safety position now more than ever. Jesus Christ. So I don't remember, or I don't actually know how it works. I don't know if I played against anyone who's really used New England this year. It doesn't come up as much as the Cardinals, as you can tell, or the Cowboys. Two games back to back against the Cowboys, two games back to get against the. Uh... Oh, Jimmy Graham! Every fourth down that I go to him is a guaranteed drop. I'll get it right to his chest and he'll drop it every time. Murray and the Cardinals with a first and ten at the 41 yard line. First carry for James Conner. God. If anyone makes the slightest adjustment. I cannot tackle them. They have decent shotgun plays and pistol. I'll take some picks of the new offensive plays I run and send it to your page after I eat. Hey, that sounds great. I wonder, can you take a custom? I gotta look this up. I wonder if I can take a customized playbook into online. Because then I need to work on customizing a playbook and doing my own thing here because then you can take those plays that always work and put those in your hot routes because otherwise your hot routes are obvious like four receivers one running back so it was going to be four verticals or three receivers a tight end This guy's run, run, run. I think you're going to replace your audibles mid-game, too. I just never take the time to do it. 
possibly four down territory, though, if they're stopped. They'll try and run for it with counter. Gosh, it's that whole fall forward thing. I love it and hate it at the same time. I'm going to say against the Cardinals, I hate it because it never happens. So from the 36 now, first and 10. Last year, could have had the Wildcat offense added with Henry. It was crazy. I've seen a lot of people try that. I think there's another team that I was just playing, and somebody used it all the time. Was it the Ravens or something? I think it was the Ravens. I, mean, I could get sometimes no yards, but a lot of times you get a good five yards no matter what he did. You know, there's only three plays in a Wildcat playbook most of the time. Although there's some teams, some teams that have where the uh, running back can throw the ball. Those are just fun. Sometimes they're really good. Okay, so we got to do something else here. He's just going to run the ball and successfully do it every time. Oh. Okay. Well, they've done a pretty good job keeping him in check to that point. But he's seen Ravens and Chiefs people nice sub Tyreek Hill as the runner, and it's all about following your blockers. I can see that. I wonder how do they sub him in back there? I wonder if you can do it in game. Well, maybe. Huh. I don't know. Because sometimes the depth charts limit you, so you can't. Unless the Chiefs or somebody has a good playbook for it. Jimmy Graham, you fucking slug. Oh, he makes me so mad. He had the ball in his hands, began to truck the guy, drops it. What? I can't get away with anything. Alright. I'm trusting that this is a zone. And it was. And inaccurate. Pass. Yeah, I know this is a terrible choice. This is why I'm getting so far down. I'm just sick and tired of falling so far behind. And I'm definitely doing the thing that's going to put me behind. On fourth down, Fields. Escaping the pressure right. Come on. Damn it. First half on EA Sports. Had him open to right stick. You know, you can change your plays in the formation just by pressing the right stick. Ah, uh, yeah. Well, I guess depends on what you mean. Like, I know. Coming up at halftime in a little less than two minutes, we'll send you to Orlando where Jonathan Coachman is staying. Um, you can change a run from left to right based on the right stick. I know when they're running, when you're running an offensive play and it's a pass play, the closest receiver will uh, move in whatever direction you flick the right stick to. Sometimes that shit just don't work. Otherwise, if that's not what you mean, 
Is there a different trick that I'm not aware of? That worked. Ah, uh, like on play select, you can use the right stick to change subs, like extra. Uh, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, for sure. I guess I use it in some situations, but not enough. There's, hmm. Is there on defense any particular subs that you use that you find work better? <coughs> oh, thank God. <laughs> Alright, so A here. This play, Goodwin, and that out and out. Like, 10% of the time, it's a free touchdown. The other, the other 90% of the time, it's thrown so far away from the receiver that it's an automatic interception because no one's over there! <laughs> God damn it! I don't know why this keeps happening. I don't really sub players. Ah. Oh, that's how they get Tyreek Hill in the Wildcat. That makes sense. I, uh... I swear, these passes that I make that are just blatant interceptions because they're not even going to the receiver, they used to work. They fake the handoff. Now Murray rolling to his left. No, I was in line. I literally was standing between him and the ball with Khalil Mack. Come on, guys. You got to pick these off. I'm getting chances I don't get. It's only two touchdowns. It's not bad, but man, I can just not score. I've got a couple more deep plays that could work, but I think um, Justin Fields' morale is just crushed from Jimmy Graham dropping all those plays that went right to his chest. So he's just blatantly missing. I swear, I think that's a thing. I'm pretty sure that's a thing, right? There's morale, and it drops the more blatant misses there are. And then when the receivers start dropping everything, there's not much you can do. Seconds to go in this first half of action. On first down, it's Fields. One for nine. Oh, if that ain't uh, the reason, and I don't know what it is. I should have been like four, at least three for four in those first ones. Back to the air, Fields on second down, eluding the pressure right. Ah, the run inaccurate. He's literally so accurate on the run. It's Justin Fields' strength. Try that again because it should work. Oh, what? All these. Uh, uh, in, okay. So there was the couple drops, and I remember a few outside. 
uh, outside the marks plays there that the receivers just don't get him in bounds. Damn. I believe Kometa's underrated in this. I watched him uh, live in college. He was a stud. Yeah, I saw his highlights. I didn't watch him. Yo, you watched him live? Nice. I didn't watch him live, but uh, in college I saw his highlights. The guy was insane. Fuck. So I noticed um, with the onside kicks, I went too far left there. But when it comes back, you want it to go past the A, and that'll kick it more left to the corner where your players can get there the fastest. That's how everyone else gets those against me. I haven't been able to get one, but I've had players touch them multiple times where they should have gotten the ball. No good. Just no good. Yards to pick up, good enough for an Arizona first. And now we get into the psychology of the whole thing because a lot of teams with a two score lead in the third quarter, they almost become defensive with their offense, just playing not to lose. I think with this team, you got to figure at this point, this is a great spot for them to go into attack mode, really try to put the hammer down and finish this one off. Ooh, like 20 minutes from Notre Dame, going to the games is fun. I just don't like Brain Kelly. That's fair. I'm not too uh, I'm not too far from the Badger games. I like going to those. That's a lot of fun. Um, and I got to go to one Bears game in 2018 when they took on the Vikings in Soldier Field. That was a real fun time. I'll tell you what though, my tickets they were like I think they were a little over 150 per person. I had four tickets. And we were way up in the nosebleeds. It was freezing up there. The wind was atrocious. It was a night game. And I was in, like, heavy snowmobile gear. Um, big boots and everything. Climbing up to the nosebleeds and all that was terrible. I went up there. And one of the guys I was with is like, ah, I'm going to go get drinks. You guys want anything? I'm like, yep, here you go. And that was the only round of drinks we got. We got one round, not because they were too expensive, which they were too expensive. But, uh... Mostly because of the travel. God damn, this dude's doing one offense. He's just doing pistol. And it's working extremely well. Thing is, is he can afford to do runs and waste time. Now I'm in the same spot I get, keep getting in every game. But I'm not running the ball. Let's let the coach suggest some plays. It's going to... Do it at random here. See if there's some stuff I don't normally do that'll come up. I know. Matt Nagy play calling. But I am not making the cut right now. Play action. It's fields. Sliding out of the pocket. And he's got the speedster good one. And out across midfield. Crossing plays work so well. Give him 30 yards there. Fields on first down. Flushed out right. That's Boom! Oh, damn. It's crazy how hit sticks can work so well on tight ends. A good pick up there. Eight yards on the first down completion. From the 36, Fields. And he gets it down to the 32. Still in search of their first touchdown of the game, but they're on the move. First and 10. To the air again, Fields. And he finds his tight end, Graham. And they'll have it in the red zone before he crosses over out of bounds. The Bears 
Bears on the move. They've got another first down. But look what we have here, a sustained drive, and that was certainly a wall in the first half. They really struggled to try and move the football. Ooh, hold on. And they certainly seem to have the formula working. Let's see if they can keep it up. And Graham's got it. Complete. My first Bear game was Calvin Johnson's last game in Detroit versus the Bears from Cutler's QB then in the dead snow. I got to see Caps last season with the 49ers in Chicago. Got destroyed. It was snowing so hard. It was hard to see negative three windshield. That sounds super terrible. Escaping the pressure. And he takes this one in for a Bears touchdown. But that would be a couple of fun games. First one is Calvin Johnson's last game in Detroit. First the Bears. I'd love to see that. I'd love to see that man play. Calvin Johnson, as much as I hated him when he played the Bears, he was a fun guy to watch. Um, it's up, it's good, and that'll cut the lead to 21 to 7. Damn. Kaepernick. Kaepernick in the Super Bowl run with the Niners was fun, too. I like that. My buddy was a. Uh, oh, I was saying that earlier. Massive 49ers fan. And you could not hear about it that year. I had a couple friends that are 49ers fans. Strange to see in the Midwest, but. Ready to go with their next drive and at the line, the Cardinal offense. Their lead down to two scores after the touchdown a moment ago as they start with a first and ten. And he's going to lose yardage here. Akeem Hicks, dude. What do you think about Akeem Hicks and his fucking crazy eyes? That guy looks like a legit madman when he gets on the line. He starts getting in the zone. He's shaking his head. His eyes are popping out. Another try after the first down sack. Murray. And everything. And he usually gets a sack or a big hit right after that. I love Akeem Hicks. I just, I really don't think they're going to keep him next year. He says he wants to end his career in Chicago. He's not ending it next year. Our cap space is a fucking mess. I love it when Hicks starts doing the same. Same. It jacks me up. Like, I'm getting excited as a fan. Out of the gun, here's Murray. Buying time to his left. Oh, thank God. Glue Mack is so fast in coverage. But it's going to be second down. From the gun, Murray. Oh, now Murray has it stripped. No! God damn it. Two games in a row, me being able to make him fumble. Kyler Murray guy. It just never works out. Oh, Khalil Mack with the first fumble. Who the hell was I using? Eddie Goldman? Yeah, if you uh, do the auto reorder in this game, uh, Akeem Hicks, Akeem Hicks is the better pass rusher. Yeah, he's definitely gonna go for this, right? Oh, no one's there. Have the first down as he gets this to the 47. Give him credit. They knew what they wanted to die. That's basically game. They executed it for nine yards, and the offense stays out there. Not totally home free yet, but it's looking good as they come up first and ten. I was just going to run the ball. No throw is Murray, eluding the pressure right. Down under 
two minutes to go in this football What's that pass? Is he just fucking with me now? Off that time as that one falls to the ground. So the Cardinals, they've got the football here as we get your reset. And you'd have to figure they're just looking to burn these final two minutes away and get out of here with a victory. Back to throw it. Murray steps away to his left. Green brings it in. And he is out of bounds, but not before he's inside the 30. The Cardinal passing game dialed in now. Do you do, um, Adam, do you do a lot of zone or man defenses? Here's Murray. into his left and he's gonna be out down inside the tree in some situations man works well I find zone I can get a lot more picks but man, it just falls apart and you say you're not a choose beer fan until you go to a snow game that's probably fact what uh and now they're inside the 10 as he's brought down at the was that one game the Giants Packers ice bowl Tom Coughlin was out there without a mask the whole time he's like an 80 year old man without anything covering his face and he had like a uh, frostbite scars across his face permanently because he was too man to cover his face it was amazing I like zones and use the linebacker to play the receivers see I like playing zones because if not, then those crossing routes, you know, uh, crossing routes and uh, slants, they'll work every time. No, I think I got that. Couldn't have been closer. Um... <clears throat> And then I've used the linebacker for years. Let's just be frank. They're playing for pride at this point. <laughs> that's, that's all that's left because victory, not a chance now. And I can't... He's got a man complete. And all the way down to the 12. Um, Defensively, I know they have the comfortable lead here in the fourth. And then now I see a lot of people. The people that beat me the worst are all using safeties or they use on the Cardinals that Isaiah Simmons guy who's a linebacker but was really a safety that dude he was I think drafted as a safety and he they put on the middle linebacker he's stupid fast he's got really good hands he smacks like a fucking shit brick house to try again after the sack fields flush to his right I feel man-to-man -man can't keep up with the wide receivers or tight end. Yeah, isn't that sad? The tight end. Can't keep up with the tight end. <laughs> but it's the truth. God bless America. Chandler Jones. And then he just starts cocking off to me. And loses the ball like that. Oh my god. I mean, this guy's got nothing to lose. Why not? That wasn't even close. That wasn't even close to where my guy was. Oh. That's, that's become the story of today throws being nowhere near where the receiver was i guess i guess kind of where jimmy graham was he had no one on him when he first went out if he didn't make the cut it would have been fine which you know predetermined play i guess i see it now in the replay seems dumb so what i like doing is this where i'm either the cornerback or a safety kind of flips who's in the spot then I've got some speed to move around and my catching should be higher like now it's already Burns before it was Johnson sometimes it'll be Jackson Kirk complete. Now the 
Ryan's gonna call another timeout. Their second. I'll try man. I'll try man defense and watch it now. See, Smith's a good fast linebacker, though. You can actually do some stuff with him. This guy's been using playmaker like a pro, though. Every time he doesn't have someone open, he's just playmaker, and it just works. He's always got somebody open. There's Murray. And looking for Kirk, but this pass is intercepted. Usually. My friend does these blitzes. It's like whatever you do uh, can stop the rush. It's like you got two seconds to pass. I played some people like that where they'll move some people around, shuffle it around, and then a linebacker will come through right at the right time. And you, yeah, you have less than two seconds to throw it. It's an unreal. Uh, play. There's there's nothing you can do. Those really piss me off. There's some people who like figured out how to break the game. They're not particularly good at football stuff. They've broken Madden to the point where they can just pull off anything. And I am a hot pile of garbage tonight. I don't know what I'm doing. I gotta go back. I'm gonna watch the film, replay the stream. Well, I guess like half of the stream was barely running because of my VPN, so I'll have to go back and uh, watch the second half of the stream. Figure out what the hell I was doing wrong. I'd say it's my play calling. I, I'm out here watching Nagy on Sundays, and I start playing like him too. I was doing really good before the season started. Now it's just been last Sunday, and then today I've had really off days. Two in a row, I don't like that. Something's not right there. I went from manhandling people on the run game and defense to not being able to run the ball. Can't pass the ball because everyone drops the ball or no one's open. 36%. That's just terrible. I probably should have quit a while ago. <laughs> I have this thing. I do this rule sometimes. Where if I get to two losses, I should probably quit playing ranked. Two losses in a row. And it's usually a good idea, because then I kind of spiral down like this. But, you know. I had you in here chatting with me, Adam. It was encouraging me to keep going. So, I was like, ah, I can't quit. Got to turn it around here for Adam, my fellow Bears fan. And then, and then I just looked worse. So I'm probably falling even further back on leaderboards. No, not really. Not too much. Honestly, if I can just get one or two wins, I'll move back into the 1%. I'm just barely out of it. Hmm. But, annoyingly, my losses are stacking up. I'm almost... <sighs> if I get two more losses, I'm under 20 plus. Don't like that. I've had so many days. I had like three days in a row where I had like six, seven, eight wins to one or no losses. And I was getting so far ahead, almost getting to two wins per loss. And then I have days like this where I fall so far behind. Every loss is two wins. I need to make it up to get to that ratio again. So it's a pain in the ass. Look at this guy. 190 wins, 262 losses. So he's played, what is that? 252 games is that right is my math right he's the 74th ranked player he's in the top 100 holy fuck I don't think I did terrible against him either he averages more points against than he does for man well I'm sad I'll show you those couple plays I run. I'll send it to your page. Hell yeah, that's up to you. It is. It is. I'm sad that I lost that guy. If I could have beat someone who was in the top 100 like that, 
I would have felt real good about myself. Oh, well. Tell you what, I'm going to rest, get some good sleep. I didn't get good sleep last night either. I'm not blaming it on that, but I'm going to come back tomorrow. I'm going to come back stronger. going to whoop some ass. Need to get these streaks back on track. We're going to do it. So I'm going to do some shout-outs here. Thank you, Nick Garza, for the shares, for the likes. Thank you, Showtime Gaming, for the like and the follow. Hell yeah, we got a good amount of follows tonight, and that is amazing. Um, thank you, William, for the like and the share. Nez God Gaming for the like. Uh, Kwame for the like and the follow. Uh, Adam for the like and the follow. Peace, Adam. Thanks for hanging out. I'm Candy. Thank you for the like. Um, and anyone else that I might have missed that didn't show up there. The question tonight, trivia question, was which country has an AK-47 on its flag? Saudi Arabia, Mozambique, Syria, or Trinidad? You guys pretty much all answered equally. It's pretty spread out there. No one really knew. The answer is Mozambique. It's a small country in Africa. Not just a gun in Apex Legends. And that was that. So anyway. Recap. Stream was really buggy for a long time. Figured out that my VPN for some reason was killing my internet. Taking it from almost 200 megabits per second to 5 or less. So I gotta figure out why that's happening. Uh played terribly in all but one or two games i think i won two lost a lot can't have that so we got to bring it back so we're gonna work on it fix things up come back stronger tomorrow um so we'll be on then six to nine central standard time per the usual hopefully we'll see you guys there stay fresh cheese bags deuces